Hello, hi, uh, welcome back. Uh, if you're new, I will introduce myself again. My name is Martina and the reason why I'm filming this is that today is the day that I'm leaving for the Czech Republic. Uh, I will try and like film some of my trip. It will be like hard because I as I've already said multiple times, I have no like filming skills, so it will be a mess, just me, my phone and my shaking hand. But I will try and record something, also because like the trip will be quite complicated. I will go from my town to Bologna, then I will take the plane, go to Prague, then from Prague I will go to another town in the Czech Republic and then from there I will take the train and go to my actual like town where I will be volunteering. So it will be a long trip uh, starting today, ending tomorrow in the afternoon. Um, I don't know if I'm ready, like I am very excited, I am very happy, but it, it hasn't hit me yet, I'm just like, here? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and also I'm struggling a lot with my suitcases, they're like, so I, I have one big suitcase that has to be under 20 kilos, uh, it is right now like 20 kilos and a half like going towards 21 and I am so scared that I will arrive there and they will tell me like oh you need to take something out because I, I absolutely have nowhere to put it and like if I open that it's like it's, it's not gonna close again like closing it was an experience by itself I, I don't want to repeat that especially I don't want to repeat that in the middle of a crowded airport I still have to like pack the last few things in my backpack which is also exploding uh, but I hope it will hold on just for me just for today um, and I will show you like a couple of tricks that I need to try to fit the last couple of things in what little space I have left um, so yeah I hope you will enjoy coming with me on this trip and yeah this is the last time you will ever see me with this wall behind me for a long time. Uh, yeah, very excited. Let's hope for the best. First big win of the day, I just got my old leather jacket back. Uh, you have to know that I hate all jackets, like all, all kinds of winter jackets. The only kinds that I can tolerate are leather jackets and jeans jackets. So I have one jeans jacket for like the springtime, autumn, stuff like that. And then I have a leather jacket for the winter. And it's very hard for me to find one that I like, that fits me, that like I just can enjoy wearing. And the last time I found one and I bought it was 2016. Since then I've been having like only that one jacket because it's the only one I can tolerate. Uh, and it was starting to break, not really, like, it was not ruined, but it was showing its ears, and I bought it to a tailor so that it could be, like, fixed, uh, and it just got back today just in time for my trip, and I'm so happy to see it again, and I'm happy that I will be able to wear it for, like, another five years, probably. This is my baby, it just got home, and if I can show you without like trembling like crazy, I will show you where it was breaking, it was like completely ruined up here, it is where a backpack would always like rub and you know break it off, and so we got a new piece of leather and we put it all the way up here, you know, the whole like shoulder piece if you look for it you can see like the patch that was put on top of the original leather but if you don't know that it's there honestly in my opinion it's as good as new and now the fun begins let's see how much stuff i can put in the pockets so that <laughs> i can pass it through the you know check-in process without putting it into my suitcase. 
this is my change of clothes for tonight i have new t-shirt socks underwear everything i have a snack i have a tote bag that i will need um it could be useful traveling but i will mostly need it when i am in the czech republic i have my keys i have lighter lighter number two these are like hello and yeah i know it is trashy uh, i did not buy this one in the shape of a gun i found it literally on the floor um in another city and i got it wait i cannot close it with one hand i got it because even though it's trashy i'm not one to pass on free stuff this is another one that my friend got me with like movies that she downloaded for me to watch when i'm away and then i have the hard part which is my <laughs> watercolor case um i don't know how to fit this one in anywhere so it's going just to be a fun time trying so yeah this is me traveling light because i'm such a minimalist leather jacket with like kilos of stuff in the pockets and yeah i did manage to fit almost everything in the pockets it it weighs two kilos like no oh yeah does it show yeah it does one kilo and 86 then this my jeans jacket then this another desperate attempt to fit stuff in here somehow and then here is me and of course i will have my backpack with me too so it will be fun it's 3 p.m we are in the car it's me and my father we are right now stopping to get some food for the road because like the trip to bologna is not long but it's like one hour and a half and it's around lunchtime so my father will be hungry so
to my final destination uh, after a lot of like traveling and like taking an airplane and the bus and everything. Finally, I um, where I will be staying for the next year. Uh, I met my flatmate just like a couple of hours ago. Uh, she's from Germany. I am very tired, like not dead tired, but I would really like to sleep now. <laughs> um, the apartment is like really beautiful. I was expecting them to give us something very rundown and shabby since it is like a provided accommodation, but it is actually very nice, like very uh, lived in and there are a lot of things left behind by like past volunteers. So there are also a lot of decorations and stuff like that, which is very, very nice. And, but also like the, um, the furniture is okay. All right. I mean, I was expecting a lot less. Uh, so I'm very happy about the accommodation. The town, I still don't know. Like I haven't had any time to move around since I have arrived a couple of hours ago, as I've said, and I've just been settling in, like uh, unpacking my stuff. But uh, from what I've seen driving around, it looks very nice, very like small in that sense that it is a town more than a city. So it has like a homey feeling or stuff like that. Uh, I will for sure like show you around once I know where everything is like like once I am more comfortable in the town and I am like more knowledgeable of the things that are like nice and good to see. Yeah, for now, I think my trip is done. I have arrived. I am home. I am in the home that will be mine for the next year uh, and I don't know I'm I'm very happy I hope you enjoyed traveling with me even though like my oh my god I already know that all the like videos that I took were probably terrible I like I rewatched only some of them on the bus so I already know that they were going to be very bad, but I hope something will be salvageable, like with some editing and <laughs> a little bit of luck. So thank you for coming with uh, and thank you for listening as always. And I hope you have an amazing day, amazing evening, whatever time it is. And yeah. I hope I will see you again. Bye!